Hello YouTube. Uh, Season 3 Red Bull. Auf den Red Bull Ring. Rennen 5. Oh, es hat ein Sprintrennen. Natürlich, Qualifying unter Regen. Gefällt mir. Das Rennen ist auch unter Regen. Also das Rennen auf jeden Fall unter Regen und hier ist Regen wird gedünnt. Scheiße. Ja, klasse. Denken, dass, dass wir jetzt Intermittent Regen haben, ne? You've got pole position. <laughs> And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Miss Monaco, Leclerc and... Hör auf, für die, diese Saison, genau wie die letzten zwei Saisons, Nicolas Latifi, mein Teamkollege, den kannst du total in den Ton treten. Die hat bis jetzt aus in der ersten Season bisher keine Punkte geholt. Also das heißt, in der ersten Season waren es nur vier Punkte, die er geholt hat, sonst nichts bis jetzt. Oh, oh, Of the back.
statues overtake and burn off some of this energy. enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Job. You did really well there, super driving. So let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Miss Monaco increases their champion. Oh, it's a play on there. So, then we can also go straight into the ring. Rein gehen. This is it then, race day in Spielberg for this year's Austrian Grand Prix. Not long to go before our drivers hurtle off the line and into the first turn, the Nicky Lauda curve. It was renamed in 2019 in memory of one of Formula One's most beloved figures. It's a short lap here in Spielberg with just 10 corners, seven to the right and three to the left, making up the total distance of 2.6 miles. And expect to see a lot of cars running wide today, especially through the last corner, as the wet conditions make the cars skittish through the downhill section. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Miss Monaco lines up on pole position, and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Lando Norris, and Vettel, Verstappen, Russell, Magnussen, and Robert Schwartzman, Ocon, Sonoda. Alex Albon and Oscar Piastri, Gasly, Latifi, Lance Stroll and Guan Yu Zhou. Perez, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Mick Schumacher. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today.
Joining me on this very wet day is a man who's no stranger to driving in miserable conditions. Anthony Davidson, you've driven open cockpit, you've driven sports cars. How does the wet weather experience change between the different disciplines? Um, well, I wouldn't say there's much difference in all honesty. You know, besides the terrifying closing speeds you find in something like sports cars with different categories all showing the same racetrack, driving in the rain is, well, driving in the rain. Of course, the biggest difference is the fact that Formula One is open cockpit. On one hand, they'll be cold and wet without a roof, but on the other, it's much simpler to pull a tear off away from the visor than it is to clear a dirty windscreen. So I don't think it's too bad. So we're leading our teammate by 11.4 seconds. They're on a fresh set of wets. They're in 15th. Oh, well, I think I've put come
use your overtake button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on. race win that is the race win you've been amazing today mate you deserve that well done that's it then for another spectacular grand prix here in austria and a truly magnificent drive to hang on and take the win anthony davidson what helped them deliver this result do you think well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack, and having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. Zigaretten gemacht. Miss Monaco increases their championship lead. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Miss Monaco. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, and I can't wait to see what's next. Okay, das ist jetzt mal nur noch ein Punkt da. Ja. 
Nicht Gewinner. Was zum Sprung mal vor? Hey, die neuen Teile sind aus der Fabrik gekommen. Wir bauen sie vor dem nächsten Grand Prix ein. Nice. Was sollen wir bei dieser Angelegenheit machen? Äh, die Sonne ist äh, verfügbar gemacht. Danke. Es ist toll, dass du dir Zeit für sowas nimmst. Saison, Pause. Die neuen Teile wurden ohne Probleme fertiggestellt. Beim nächsten Rennwochenende werden sie eingebaut sein. So, YouTube. Wenn ihr wissen wollt, was zwischen Rennen 1 und Rennen fünf passiert ist, müsste natürlich an dieser Stelle, denn je nachdem, wann das Video online ist, wird aber wahrscheinlich Zeit mal sein, äh, an dieser Stelle einmal auf Twitch wechseln und euch dementsprechend äh, die Livestream-Wiederholung anschauen, denn die lade ich separat nicht nochmal hoch. Und YouTube, wir werden uns denn in Rennen Nummer 10 in unserer Season 3 uns denn an dieser Stelle wiedersehen, aber an dieser Stelle YouTube, und dann gehe ich fürs Zugucken.